Global warming is causing a set of changes to the Earth's climate or long-term weather patterns that varies from place to place. Scientists use climate change when describing the complex shifts from now affecting our planet's weather and climate systems. Climate change encompasses not only rising average temperatures, but also extreme weather events, shifting wildlife population and habitats, rising seas and a range of other impacts. All of those changes are emerging as humans continue to add heat-trapping greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Fossil fuels are hydrocarbons, primarily coal, fuel oil or natural gas formed from the remains of dead plants and animals. In common dialogue, the term fossil fuels also includes hydrocarbon containing natural resources that are not derived from animals or plant resources. These are sometimes known instead as mineral fuels. Fossil fuels is a general term for buried combustible geological deposits of organic materials formed from decayed plants and animals that have been co converted to crude oil, coal, natural gas or heavy oils by exposure to heat and pressure in the Earth's crust over hundreds of millions of years. The burning of fossil fuels by humans is the largest source of emissions of carbon dioxide, which is one of the greenhouse gases that allows radiative forcing and contributes to global warming. A small portion of hydrocarbon-based fuels are biofuels derived from atmospheric carbon dioxide and thus does not increase the net amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Fossil fuels emit more than just carbon dioxide when burned. Coal-fired power plants single-handedly generate 42% of dangerous mercury emissions in the United States, as well as two-thirds of U.S. sulfur dioxide emissions which contribute to acid rain and the vast majority of soot particulate metal in our air. Meanwhile, fossil fuels powered cars, trucks and boats are the main contributors of poisonous carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide which produces smog on hot days. The greenhouse effect is the warming that happens when certain gases in Earth's atmosphere traps heat. These gases let in light but keeps heat from escaping. Gases in the atmosphere such as carbon dioxide trap heat just like the gas glass roof of a greenhouse. These heat trapping gases are called greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect by absorbing infrared radiation. Carbon dioxide and chlorofluorocarbons are examples of greenhouse gases. During the day, the sun shines through the atmosphere. Earth's surface warms up in the sunlight. At night, Earth's surface cools, releasing heat back into the air. In the atmosphere, greenhouse gas molecules trap some of the heat, and the rest escapes into space. The more greenhouse gases concentrate in the atmosphere, the more heat gets locked up in the molecules, making the Earth warmer. Forests still cover about 30% of the world's land area, but they are disappearing at an alarming rate. Between 1990 and 2016, the world lost 1.3 million square kilometers of forests, according to the World Bank, an area larger than South Africa. We need trees for a variety of reasons. They absorb not only carbon dioxide that we exhale, but also the heat-trapping greenhouse gases that human activities emit. As those gases enter the atmosphere, global warming increases, a trend scientists now prefer to call climate change. Farming, grazing of livestock, mining, causing wildfires and drilling combined account for more than half of all deforestation. In Malaysia and Indonesia, forests are cut down to make way for producing palm oil. In the Amazon, cattle ranching and farms, particularly soy plantations, are key culprits. Logging operations, which provides the world's wood and paper products, also fell countless trees each year. Loggers, some of them acting illegally, also build roads to access more and more remote forests, which leads to further deforestation. Forests are also cut as a result of growing urban sprawl as land is developed for homes.